All right, so before we get into the steps to make your first sale, I'm gonna start off with the results so that way you can know that the person that's gonna be teaching you this actually gets results. And this is not like no game. This is not me trying to show you something that I don't personally do myself, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the content. Okay, so the first result we're gonna be looking at is coming from clickbank.com. November 8th, I had a $135.83 week. For the week of the 25th, I had $21.24. And then you can see right here for the 18th, I made $8.47 cent for that particular week now that's for this particular income stream let's go to another one now you can see right here made fifteen dollars and they paid me four dollars and fifty cents two hundred twenty seven dollars is what somebody paid and they paid me sixty eight dollars and ten cents every affiliate company gonna have you know they certain percentages that they're gonna be willing to pay you whether it's gonna be recurring or it's gonna be one time now me personally I love some recurring because I know okay boom as long as this product is good people gonna keep coming back every single month and paying that right there's a lot of power in that now if we continue to go down you can see it continues to go consistently right because of the strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video okay so now we're gonna to go to the next affiliate stream so you can see over the last seven days we had 10 leads and we had two referrals which is valued at about forty five dollars and forty five cents now if I click on the commissions and we go down what I am gonna do is I am gonna make sure that the customer information is blocked out as I continue to go down but if you look right here it says commissions count three two have been approved one is pending so if we go down what you can see right here it says approved value which is six dollars and seventy five cent has already been approved to be paid to me and then you can see right here this is the pending value so that's where this particular number right here comes from now another thing I'm gonna go ahead and move me out the way real quick you can see right here this particular customer paid two hundred and eighty eight dollars and I got forty three dollars and twenty cents so most times you'll see that affiliate companies will pay you know ten percent twenty percent thirty percent forty percent fifty percent some even pay up to 75% and when you start to get into some of the high ticket stuff you can start to get 100% commissions and those get pretty good especially when you got some higher commissions coming in so you can see with this particular income stream $33.35 pending to be paid out to me all right so what we're gonna do now because these are just income streams I'm gonna show you obviously this is not all of them but now we're gonna get into the process and what you need to do to be able to consistently make this happen all right so step number one is to identify which lane you want to go down and then once you identify the lane you then got to identify a good product now the only two ways that I know that you can find a good product is to first look at what the platform that you're gonna be promoting from is telling you about the conversion data which is basically saying hey people buy this product because the marketing is set up good but that doesn't always guarantee that on the back end you're gonna have a good product so my way of doing it is I actually go out and purchase the product I then learn the ins and outs of the product that way you can actually identify if this this is a good product or not. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna take a look at one of the products I use and I'm gonna kind of take you into my mind like what, how I'll be thinking when I'll be going for these products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here on ClickBank and I'm gonna go right here where it says Marketplace. I'm gonna click on that. Now with ClickBank, what it does is it shows you the top offers, some of the ones you saved, and then some of the new ones. So what I'm gonna do to save time is we're gonna go directly to the product. So you can see right here, Thumbnail Blaster Insane Conversions. You can see the gravity score is 9.76. Now I'm gonna just tell you that gravity score is not considered a good gravity score but it does show that some sales are actually being generated now if I go down here you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about so it says no recent affiliate sales no recent affiliate sales right so a lot of these products weren't any sales being generated but if you look right here boom $39.56 so that tells you there are recent sales because it's not saying what it said on the other ones now you usually want to shoot anywhere from 50 and above but here's what I will tell you the reason I promote this product was because number one I was already using a product it brought value to me because I was generating tens of thousands of views creating thumbnails and then putting those thumbnails on my videos and then that was bringing benefit to me so I said okay well if it can bring benefit to me I know it can bring benefit to somebody else so personally I wasn't worried about the low gravity score and I also know that I understand okay I need to showcase this in a way so that it's valuable for people and that's what continues to happen all right so now another thing that I look at you see right here it says affiliate tools so I want to know okay on top of 
my marketing, do they also give me tools? Like, do they give me keywords? Do they give me emails I can send out? Do they give me ad creative and different things like that? So now what I want to do is I want to click right here where it says affiliate page. And then what this is going to tell me is this going to give me all of that information that I was just thinking about. So I usually go ahead and just kind of scroll down until I start seeing stuff like, okay, how much am I going to get paid if a person goes throughout that process? So let me go down here to the bottom and show you what that looked like. All right. So this right here is telling me, okay, this is the journey they're going to be going through. And these are all the different things that they can buy so that you can make money. Now, what I also want to do is I want to go down here and I want to look for the other stuff. Okay. So this is where it starts to get good. You always want to make sure that a product has affiliate tools to make your marketing a whole lot better. All right. So right here, it says, these are the different keywords that I can target. Best YouTube thumbnail creator online. I can go ahead and just create a bunch of videos on this particular thing. Now, obviously you don't want a whole channel that's pretty much going towards the same thing, but you got to get creative in how you go about, you know, tying it to whatever the product is. All right. So they also give you different Facebook groups that you can target. So you can go in, paste this in here like this, right? So I can come over here like this, boom. And then now it opens up this Facebook group and then I can go in here and provide value and showcase once again, the value for the tool. Now, next thing, video creators. Now you can go ahead and hit this three dots right here, hit the download button, download these videos and use these videos as ads, or you can upload them to another YouTube channel and leverage them like that. And then position them using some of the things that I'm going to teach you here in this video. And then down here, we got other things that we can use other visuals, other videos that's going to make our market marketing a whole lot better. All right, so now we're going to go on to step number two. We need to identify what is the main problem this product solves. And then now on top of that, we also need to look at the different use cases that it has to prepare us to go into step number three. So you can see right here, it says create attention grabbing thumbnails in three clicks. So the main selling point of this particular tool or software is to help you create thumbnails. Now you can see it says for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or any video platform out there. Now we're going to stop right there. Now it said YouTube. So that opens up one angle. It opened up Instagram and it also talks about Facebook and any other video platform out there. But this is all about creating graphics. So that means that you can also use this in Facebook posts. You could use this in Instagram posts that's revolved around pictures. You could also use this for Facebook stories, YouTube community tab. And I'm naming all of these because I've used this tool to create all of those different things, right? Now what I need to do is I need to move on to step number three, which is where we actually start to research those use cases and the main problem. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down. Let me go down real quick. I want to show you something. So down here, I want to show you. Okay. So right here, it says you can create your thumbnails for any style of video, 16 by nine, four by five, four by four, right? So they sticking with that. But then another thing I might mention in my piece of content is that they got templates. So now the person is like, okay, well, I don't got to start from scratch. I could use a template, which is going to help me, help me, you know, speed up the process, right? Which is definitely going to be beneficial to the person watching the video. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a tool called morning fame. Now morning fame allows me to do research and see what it is that people care about. So now that I know that it's all about creating graphics, I might say, okay, well, how to create graphics for Instagram. So you can see how to create graphics for Instagram posts. I can create a video and then I can then in that video, give them tips on how to create graphics and then also recommend them this as the tool that I would be promoting to them, right? That's one way that I can make money. Now let's go to something else. So it says create images for Instagram highlights and I can use that same process to be able to create the video to get in front of the right people. Now let's say instead of Instagram, let's say Facebook, same thing, how to create images for Facebook ads create a piece of content around that boom use this as a tool for them to be able to do it all right so let's go and let's try how to create graphics for and we're just going to see what pops up so how to create graphics for clothing how to create graphics for streamers how to create graphics for a website right heck even a blog post right and i've done that as well using this exact same tool so now that gives me a bunch of different pieces of content that i can now create based off the use cases and then in the piece of content i need to make sure that i'm always talking 
talking about the main problem, which is a way for them to create graphics simple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to step number four. OK, so let's just say that we end up using like for Instagram posts. So now what I need to do is I need to go into optimization. Now, based on this software, anytime I see yellow and green up here at the top, I know that this is something that I can optimize for and then create that piece of content. Now we need to go ahead and we need to optimize this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit choose for step number four. And then now let me go ahead and move me up a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. So now in here, what I need to do is I need to make sure that my title, my description and my tags includes the most relevant stuff that's related to this. I don't want anything that's not related. All right. So here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to post this in here, you know, just have my title in there. And then what I want to do is based on the keywords that are in here. OK, we want to make sure I'm going to go ahead and hit this highlight tags. Now you can see it says I need to include all of these words inside of my description to make sure that I'm properly optimized. So what I would want to do is I would say in this video and then I would include my keyword in this video, I'm going to show you how to create graphics uh, for Instagram posts. So now you can see the words are disappearing as I'm typing them in there. And then it's, it's letting me know, OK, you getting optimized how you need to. So that way you can go throughout the process and actually have your stuff showing up like these particular people down here at the bottom. Right. So these are the people that are ranking for this particular keyword right now. But your goal is to be the person that shows up at the top of the search results. So that way, when people go searching for this stuff, they're going to see you because at that point you become the authority and then they go through your video. And if you actually provide value, you showing them that you actually know that this is going to help them and they can feel that and they see, okay, they self identifying like, okay, well, dang, yeah, this, this can definitely help me do what I need to do. And then what's going to happen if you give a call to action, that's not one of them call to actions to where when you about to say, Hey, click the link in the description, your voice go down because you're a little bit, you're a little bit scared to say it. No, you got to say it with some confidence. You got to be like, Hey, in this video, if you got some value and you feel like this tool is going to be helpful for you, go ahead and click that first link down below in the description, because at that point they can feel it coming from you. They know that this is going to help them. And then once you say that, they click the link in the description and that's how you're going to be able to make your first sale. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to learn exactly how I optimize my content to boost my visibility and consistently sell products, go ahead and click that first link down below in the description. That's going to take you throughout my process. And that way you'll know exactly what you need to do. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.